modern Spartan systems. <laughs> Shooting guy here. Thanks for joining us. It's uh, time to uh, clean the SP-2022. I'm here with... Shooting kid. Yeah. It's good to see you, shooting kid. Yep. There's a... Uh, here's the thing. Yep. So What's this that? is the uh, modern, modern Spartan systems. Yeah. Um, this is just our starter kit. Um, and we'll have a link to this in the description below. Um, so if y'all want to check it out, um, y'all can. Um, we're going to use this today. It's a really cool kit. It just comes in like one of those little standard pencil box that you would get for school. Um, and in here, there's five different um, tubes. You got these, um, the carbon destroyer. So this is going to be safe on all metals to use. Um, so we'll put that there. Um, this is going to be the copper and lead destroyer. I'll put this in my barrel um, just to make sure there's no copper and lead left. Um, and this is also safe on all metals. Um, and they have descriptions on the back here. So um, if you do want to read it, you can. Um, that way, if you're stupid like I am and don't know what to do, read it. Um, and then the Spartan Accuracy Oil. Um, I don't know if it will help my accuracy. It probably won't. Um, <laughs> but you know what? We'll give it a shot. You um, need all the help you can get. Crystal clear. This stuff is uh, basically just a glass cleaner for scopes, um, red dots, ver um, ver um, reflex sites, stuff like that. Nice. Um, and then there's start spot Spartan Accuracy Grease. Yeah, there you go. Um, so it just comes in a little case right there. Um, so we'll go ahead. I'm going to um, disassemble the gun. Make sure it's all clear first. Nothing in the mag. And then we'll uh, we'll clean it. Yeah, we'll give it a go. All right, step number one, um, got to get some paper towels. Uh, I'm shooting guys getting the uh, rod right now is to use that copper and lead cleaner. Um, but I'm going to be using a lot of paper towels to be able to wipe the stuff off um, and kind of keep our station clean a little bit. Um, but that's why we have this um, handy dandy mat right here. Um, so that way we don't get all this other stuff on our workbench. How does that make you feel? Like a man. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take apart the uh, SIG SP2022 so that way we can access the barrel cleaning rod or the guide rod, the springs, um, the inside of the barrel, all that good stuff. Uh, mag's already out. Again, it's safe. Uh, there's nothing in here. So to do this, you just take that back, push this pin out right there, let the slide go forward, um, take that out, pull the guide rod out from the barrel, spring comes out, guide rod barrel slide and there you go how was it good my heart is up yeah now we're ready to get this thing cleaned and here we go um, i'm actually going to see what this grease is here um, maybe i won't use it <laughs> strawberry jam strawberry so jam yeah so i don't need a crystal clear i don't have any optics on the gun so we're good there uh, so this is just going to be on the outside here um, i'm going to be using just a Good old handy dandy paper towel. There's probably better pads out here, out there for this, but you know what? Too lazy to go get them. Um, so I'm just gonna splash some of that on there. Get my barrel, wipe this all off here. See, all... my you want to you want to know what my philosophy is? Oof. What's up? Well, that does clean pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, my philosophy is there's big explosions going on inside of the thing. A little bit of paper towel dust is not going to be a problem, right? Right. Exactly. And you just take your air compressor and you can blow the heck out of it and you'll be fine. Look at how pretty that barrel looks now. Nice. Get all this cool oh, back here. And uh, yeah. Oh my God, this is awful. When was the last time I cleaned this thing? Nah, probably when you first bought it. Yeah, I cleaned it a couple months ago. So that's how dirty after about probably what, maybe a hundred rounds shot? Yeah, probably. Um, so okay. there's that, that barrel is done. The barrel is not done yet. We're gonna get the guide, the um, cleaning rod this thing here with the nine mil end and uh, spray some of that copper stuff on there and get the lead and stuff out of there. But hey, you may want to make sure that that is nine, nine millimeter, 30 caliber or something. Yep, yeah. Okay. Cool. Right on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. Flip this over like so. Spray a little bit more of this stuff. This stuff makes it is actually working really well. It's our first time using it. Um, and so far I'm really actually digging this stuff a lot better than some of your normal cleaner products out there. Um, we've used a lot of cleaning products out there. Um, we've used like your good old fashioned kits you get from like the Bass Pro and big five stores and stuff. What's that called? The Hobbs stuff? Oh yeah, Hobbs uh, number Hops, nine. Hobbs number nine, we've used that stuff. Yeah. And the solvent. Uh, the solvent and stuff, which works really good, but this stuff is actually, uh, I think so far is my number one favorite product cleaner. Um, we were 
cleaning this off right now. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, I've talked to Marcus, who owns uh, Modern Spartan Systems, and uh, he says it is designed to be very, very easy to use and very effective. The other good thing about it is the material, the the, the fluids, the oils, and whatnot. Um, actually leave a protective coating and so the more you use it you actually fill in gaps that may be in the metal at a molecular level and uh, maybe I'll get Marcus on the phone sometime and we'll do a, a talk about it he could he could tell you exactly um, how this thing works uh, uh, that, maybe that's what I'll do if Marcus yeah. is willing to come on hey Marcus you willing to come online and uh, <laughs> Do a question and answer with some of my viewers. That would Maybe be great. we can do that to our uh, Patreons. Yeah, we can uh, do that. Yeah, if you're not a Patreon patron, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Please. You get to have cool interviews like that. Yeah, need to need to jump on board. Those of you that have jumped on board and that are supporting us. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. If it wasn't for uh, that support, uh, quite frankly, I don't think uh, we would be doing much of this stuff anymore. It's kind of getting kind of tough out there, but that's for another video. Right? Yep. Yeah. And we're just, I'm utilizing the tools we have right now. I'm taking the end of this to get in between these grooves. Um, and yeah, like the shooting guy said, this stuff is really easy to use. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this and just wipe down the outer, the outside of this thing because there's a little bit of dirt here. Um, and I could see a little bit of carbon build up here. Yeah. Um, Gunpowder does, you know, leave the residue and stuff. And uh, it's good to wipe off your gun, take care of it. If you take care of your gun, the gun will take care of you. That's true. So we'll go ahead and wipe that all down. We'll get another one through here. You know who you sounded like right there? Who? Iraq Veteran 8888. Oh, Lord. Good old Eric. Oh. Do it just like Eric would do. Right into the camera. All right, guys. If you take care of your gun, the gun will take care of you. I don't think you talked enough. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. If you take care of the Sig Sauer SP, which stands for Sig Pro 2022 in nine millimeter, which has the polymer frame and metal slide, the gun, if you take care of that gun, the gun will take care of you in any scenario and just live in life at the range. And you, if you get into a firearm scenario, it'll take care of you. Wow, that's pretty much how Eric would do it. We love Eric. Right. Eric and Chad, yeah. Chad needs to cut his hair, though. Yeah, he does. He kind of looks like Sorry, uh, buddy. Ronald McDonald. That's, <laughs> you need uh, to cut your hair, though. That's what Eric says, anyway. I don't know that uh, Chad says that. Welcome back, everybody. This is Eric and Ronald McDonald here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Yeah, this is still pretty dirty in there, so we'll go ahead and give it another one through here. A little, ca little, a little carbon didn't hurt nobody. Oops. <laughs> yeah, good. you want to keep the friction down, though. You yeah. really do. So we'll go ahead and give that a little... Oh, put through, put through the hole. I think that's where I'm starting to shoot. Right there? Yeah. Right there at the hole? Yeah. Okay. You could probably use the, uh, there we go. the cleaning rod thing. Yeah. Cool. So this is done. I'm gonna call it good on that. Now let's get that copper stuff out here. You did the outside of the barrel, right? Yes. Yeah. The outside of the barrel with the, uh, I used the, and, and you know what, guys? This stuff is really awesome because it's color-coded. So you got the black bottle, which is a carbon destroyer. You got the copper and lead destroyer, which is going to be well, a copper color. And then the Spartan Accuracy Oil, which is red. So if you're colorblind, I hope you can read. But if you're not, you're okay. And they're pretty ingenious, man. Yeah. I and wonder if they have a college education. Blue. Yeah, probably do. All right. We'll Crystal go ahead, clear is blue. Hmm. Go ahead and just spritz a little bit of this on here. I hope this is okay for this, but we'll find out. Oh, it should be. So we'll go ahead and just once through this here. Ooh, ooh, did junk come out? Yeah. Something came out. How's it smell? Oh, it smells pretty good actually. Yeah. Let's get let's let the everyone get a smell. Yeah, here you right go. Right in there. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, lo and behold, we are uh, using an iPhone here. Ooh, you know why? Uh, because we can. And we're using that ultra wide angle. So we're we're uh Doing some new stuff here, and this stuff is leaking all over the place. Oh, leaking like oh, you mean because it's squishing off the pad? Yeah, it's just yeah. squishing off the pad. So I'll go ahead and just wipe I th that down. If I remember correctly, Marcus was saying you don't really need a whole lot because a little goes a long way with this, and uh, yeah, well, not not that you did a whole lot, but it's just a reminder to everyone: don't need to. Yeah, look at that barrel; it's nice and shiny. Here, I'm going to do a close up. Actually, you can see a little bit of a coating on there. It looks a lot better than it did. 
But yeah, if you look through that barrel, guys, that barrel's Here, nice let's, and uh, clean. I'm gonna get a close up. Here we go. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so the slide's done, barrel's done. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and, which was this one? This was the carbon destroyer, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe this guide rod down. How's that guide rod doing? Now, you it's, know. It's, it's holding up. Uh, it's just a polymer guide rod. Yeah, um, so that's why we're kind of, we're wondering how long this thing's gonna hold up for. Any uh, nicks uh, or any scratches or any of that stuff? Not that I can see, no. There's a little bit of a piece of plastic Nope, nope. Maybe that's just some carbon. It's looking okay. It's looking good. I haven't been shooting much lately, so it's not really, you know, something that's really like the fret about right now. But it's got, you know, um, at least five, six hundred rounds all total. Easy. Um, and no problems. But that is kind of like this is a gun of our home defense. Um, we're running 124 grain hollow points in it, so we do want the we don't want the guide rod to, you know, have a malfunction, um, as Eric would say. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean the. Uh, this part down so yeah so there you go that's carbon on there nice um, that's what i guess what's the slide the slide release there you go yeah um got some build up got some build up so we'll go ahead and just wipe this stuff down here there you go cool um the spring you know the spring's okay probably could just wipe it down yeah do it light white no problem keep go it all ahead, lubed just... That's done. Now we're going to take the uh, lower receiver, which has all your trigger mechanisms um, and everything in the po that polymer frame, um, in the hammer drop, the slide, whatever it's called for your cold right now. <laughs> all those technical. Really terms. don't give a don't give a hoot either. But, uh, oh, there you go. Look at all that dust. Oof. Oof. Oh well. Carbon trigger. Wipe this down inside. Whoop, already tore it. Look at that. It tore the paper? Yep. Yeah, that's probably why you're supposed to use the more clothy type of thing. We'll take the air oh. compressor and blow oh. the heck out of that. Oh, Lord. Sorry. Sorry. Dirty? Yeah. Hey, you can actually see the hammer now and see how. Let me get close up. Yep. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can see where you're. Uh... Yeah. So we're just cleaning off the uh, fun package sender. We'll use these terms so that way YouTube doesn't, you know, give us a flag. It's the fun package sender. Fun package sender. We sent a lot of fun packages at the uh, at the the park yet, uh, the other day. Yeah. On, on New Year's Day. Yeah. So, uh, we called it Range Day. You know, it's like a stovetop range. Yeah. Yeah. What's this part now? Um, I'm just gonna get this a little bit once more, once over again. Oh. Okay. Uh, make sure there's nothing left to clean. What are the five points that need to make sure that they're lubricated properly? So the five points, so basically what I go is I just look and see wherever there's um, some friction going. So right here, right here, right here, right here. And the hammer too, if you want. Um, can't get a hold of that. The barrel, um, the barrel will have it too. So you'll put some right here. Yeah. Just kind of lube it down. It's where the slide and the barrel meet. And on the slide right here, I'll pour some, wherever you see that little if you yeah. see some shininess in there, that's yeah. where you want to usually do it. Okay. Um, that's my rule of thumb. Um, I, I like to have a smooth operating handgun, especially if I need to use it for the house. Um, Lord forbid I will need to use it for the house, but if I do, at least I know that we're good to go. There's not going to be any slide malfunctions. So There you go. All right, and now we're going to use Cruise Fire MX3. Oh, well, maybe I will need to use that strawberry jelly. Use the strawberry jelly. That's what it's for. That's your lubrication. Is that what it's for? Yeah. Our unmatched friction reduction. Yep, I guess it is. Yeah. Y'all, this looks like strawberry preserves. Does it not? Look at that. Oh, he moved it does, it out of camera. Oh, Hold still. It don't smoke it, though. Look at that. It's greasy. All right, try that out. So I'm just going to tell you, you know what? Can't be that bad, right? It looks like lip gloss. Try it out. Yeah, there you go. Hi, sisters. Yeah, a little there, a little there. I'm sure we're probably doing this wrong, but you know. Hey, Marcus, if you uh, could uh, if let us know. Yeah, if you're watching this. How 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 good I'm doing, and uh, don't don't be afraid to be crucial with us or critical with us here. Yeah. Um, don't be afraid to be mean. 
Oh, he's not mean. He's a cool dude. Yeah, he is. He will probably set us straight if we're making some mistakes. Marcus, set us straight. Okay, so you're going to get all that stuff on there? Yeah. Shall we come back when uh, you're yes. ready to let's assemble the gun? Back. Yep, let's come back and uh, we'll, uh, we'll show you all the lubricated prints, parts, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, here we go. Modern Spartan Systems is now making the most powerful contaminant removal and friction reduction technologies available. So, all right, guys, so we got all the parts lubricated, um, The point, at least the points that we need to get um, lubricated. Um, so now, and something I just found out, the uh, carbon destroyer is a really good thing to get the, the grease off. Um, there's no residue of the grease. I personally don't like to have that grease on my fingers. Um, so that stuff is really good, so you can just easily do that, um, clean it off. All right, so we're going to reassemble the gun now. Um, we got all the points lubricated, so we got one, two, um, three, four, and five on the back there. Um, I've also put some right here. Um, there's a little bit of friction going on right there. Um, and on the slide, I got um, one. Um, I got in the barrel right here. Whoops. I got in the barrel right here. Um, so that way, because the barrel is rubbing in there. And I got this part here, and I got all the slide where the slide contacts the, um, the metal on the polymer receiver. And then uh, that is it. Oh, and I got the barrel also. Um, I got the barrel right up here. Um, so that way, um, the ejection is kind of smooth. <laughs> all right. All right. So we put everything away. Got our best kind of cleaned up. I don't think it's for me, but no. You can toss it. Um, gone. All right. So now we're going to reassemble the uh, handgun here. Um, so guide rod and spring. Um, so I'm going to take my, my slide here, take the barrel, stick that in there. Just kind of, you know. Rub it down a little bit there. Put guide rod and spring back in. There we go. Be careful so it doesn't go boing. Ah, my eye! Yep, and line up the slide with the receiver. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna put this back in there. Pull the slide back, push that in there. There we go, that is running smooth. Smooth as butter. Nice. Goes back in. It's empty, right? Yep. Oh, here you go. Take a look at this. Take the silicone done in real cloth. Um, shh, probably got this at a, the San Francisco gun show, I think. Yeah, we got that a long time ago. I it love is, that thing. I use it. Been uh, used. It's been used a little. Used a lot. How does it smell? Much better. It smells like vanilla. Yep. I just give it a wipe down on the just outside. Wipe this thing down here. The side. It's all nice and shiny and pretty. I'm gonna get a close Not up. Really, I really care about the prettiness, but you know, it's okay. Well, a clean gun is a happy gun. Yep, because then the gun will take care of you. There you go. All right. Okay, folks, we've got Modern Spartan Systems Starter Kit. Uh, I'm gonna put a link down below where you can get yourself one of these. It's the uh, accuracy oil, the carbon destroyer, the copper lead destroyer, and crystal clear. And then it's got special feature of the uh what was it strawberry jam strawberry jam yeah what do I they call that i used any of this stuff this is the, called the uh the shooting spartan accuracy grease there you go that's the stuff that uh, you smear on and it helps uh and make things nice and slick boy that looks kind of pretty nice job oh, here we go uh oh did you do it wrong <laughs> so this stuff here the spartan accuracy oil i guess extends your back barrel life uh, so we'll use this next time. We didn't use it today, but that's okay. Oh, down the barrel? I don't know. I wonder if we put it on the outside or inside. I don't know. Yeah, so we'll find out. We'll talk to Marcus about that. Um, I may ask him if I did everything correctly and if I used everything correctly. And if we didn't, we'll come back. We'll do a part two of the video. And we have another handgun that we can clean up. So we'll use it on that one. Very good. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining us today. We do love you all. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell because you're supposed to ring the bell because the algorithm tells us to and we do everything the algorithm says, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget, there's a link down below. There's a link up here and uh, we'll have links to all this stuff. Yep. Enjoy. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. See ya. Shh.
Everybody's been giving this guy so much crap about his hair, so I had to jump on the bandwagon a little bit there. 